Chapter 5. Baskets. Violet's right. We need to figure out a way to get the trash into the trash can, said Tiger Lily. We could just throw things up there, suggested Hyacinth. Even as she said it, Hyacinth did not sound convinced. But none of us are probably strong enough. It would never work. If we could climb up the side of the trash can, we could carry things up one by one, Petunia said. She took a running leap at the trash can, but it was too steep and too smooth to climb. She quickly slid to the ground. If I had some rope, we could make a ladder and get the trash up there, said Tiger Lily. She grabbed some plastic grocery bags and started twisting them. When she had twisted three bags into a strand, she began to braid the strands together to make a rope. It reminded Violet of the way she had made the handle for the grass clippings basket. Wait, cried Violet. I have an even better idea. The scout stopped and stared at her. Violet gulped and her nose twitched. Well, said Hyacinth, we could make a basket, Violet squeaked. Tiger Lily put her hands to her head and groaned. What is it with you and baskets? Actually, it might work, Junebug said. A smaller container would be more accessible. In fact, we could even make the basket out of trash. We'll twist the pieces together like Tiger Lily's rope. Imagine a basket made of trash, holding trash. We would be t taking care of the trash problem and recycling at the same time. It would be something worthy of the Mouse Scout Monthly. If that doesn't make a difference, I don't know what will, Cricket agreed. Violet beamed. Hyacinth and Petunia gathered all the plastic grocery bags, potato chip bags, and candy wrapper wrappers from the pile and set them aside while Tiger Lily and Cricket got to work braiding them into ropes. As the pile of ropes grew, Violet took three long lengths of rope and laid them down in a star shape. She then took a fourth rope and began to weave it over and under the other three ropes. Violet kept weaving until the base was as wide as four mice lying down end to end. Then the scouts built up the sides. When the basket was mouse high, Violet climbed on Cricket's shoulders and kept weaving. Only when she couldn't reach any higher did they decide the basket was done. The scouts stood back and admired their basket. For something made out of trash, it was a thing of beauty. Violet had never felt so proud. Even Tiger Lily was impressed. Now that's a trash basket, she giggled. Tiger Lily climbed up the side of the basket and stood on the rim. The scouts began to pass her the remaining trash piece by piece. Hyacinth and Petunia jumped up and down on the soda cans and water bottles to flatten them, and Cricket and Violet lifted them up to Tiger Lily. Junebug raked the area around the trash baskets with a plastic fork and then handed the fork to Tiger Lily. When they were done, the basket was full and there wasn't a piece of trash to be seen anywhere. But the scouts weren't the only ones admiring their work. From underneath the bush, he'd been napping in a big... He had been napping in... A red, big cat looked on with interest. Now that the trash had been picked up, he had a better view of the mouse scouts. The cat has been licking his lips, and he began to purr. Mouse Scout Handbook. How to Make a Basket. Imagine creating something that is both useful and beautiful from material that you could gather yourself. Making baskets from grass clippings or other found objects, such as flower stems or scrapes of fabric, is easy once you know how. Follow the simple step-by-step -step guide below. Gather your materials if necessary. Braid them and twist them to create lengths of rope. Lay out three lengths of rope, crossing them in the middle. They will look like a six-armed star. Starting in the center of your star, take another length of rope and weave it over and under the six arms going around once as tightly as you can. Next, insert a new length of rope into the center so that your star has seven arms. An odd number of arms will help the basket hold its shape. Continue to weave over and under the seven arms as tightly as possible to form the base of your basket. When you need to add a new length of rope, tuck the end of the piece you have been working with into the woven part, then insert the new rope in the same place. When your base is the size that you want it to be, fold up the arms to create the sides. Continue weaving until your basket has reached the height you want it to be. Bend the arms over, 
one by one and weave them into the top of the basket, creating a brim. To create a handle, braid three lengths of rope together. Poke one end of the braid into the top of the basket and weave it in and out of your basket to the bottom so that it is secure. Repeat with the other end of the braid on the far side of the basket to form a handle. Your finished basket will be something you will use forever. It would also make a lovely gift for a family member.